Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about recruitment and especially internal recruitment and its process and types of internal recruitment and uh, advantages and limitations of internal recruitment. So first of all we can discuss about recruitment. What is the meaning of recruitment that you know? Recruitment is the second most important process of staffing. First process of staffing is establishing manpower requirement and second one is recruitment and after recruitment selection procedures after select training will be given after given training their performance will be appraised that will be checked then they will be promoted to the next stage so promotion and career planning then compensation will be provided depends upon their performance and position isn't it the two kinds of recruitment internal recruitment and external recruitment so in this video we are going to discuss very clearly about internal recruitment internal source of recruitment what is the meaning of internal source of recruitment they are going to do everything internally which is they are going to recruit the people from internal source already available employees may be transferred from one branch to other branch else they may be promoted from low level to higher level so this will happen in internal recruitment transfer what is the meaning of transfer from one branch to branch A to branch B the employee may transfer and promotion promotion from low stage to higher stage which means low level operational level to middle level management the people will be promoted whoever is working in an organization they will be promoted so here they are not expecting any new blood for an organization with the existing blood they may be transferred from one branch to other branch else they may be promoted from one stage to other stage isn't it merits of internal recruitment we are going to discuss merits of internal recruitment so first one is employees are motivated to improve their performance employees are motivated to improve their performance a promotion at a higher level may lead to a chain of promotion at lower level in the organization listen this employees are motivated to improve their performance means here already existing employees are motivated by an organization to improve their performance why they are improving their performance than earlier if they are performing well they will be promoted to the next stage see here uh, Raja is an employee who was employed before five years he was working as an supervisor in an organization as a supervisor in an organization because of his wonderful performance favor for an organization now he is promoted to assistant manager isn't it a promotion at a higher level may lead to a chain of promotion at a lower level of the organization the organization so raja was a supervisor now he become the assistant manager of an organization isn't it so his level is promoted this motivates the employees to improve their performance though learning and practice so if one employee is promoted like that what other people will think see raja was an employee for past 5 years because of his wonderful performance he upgraded his skill upgraded and he promoted by an organization why i should not do isn't it like this each and every employee will think and they will give 100 percentage 200 percentage of their contribution favor for an organization then organization result will increase day by day organization will do their duties effectively and efficiently isn't it because if everyone is contributing already employed people favor for an organization even it may be an selfishness in one side because they need promotion they are expecting promotion then they are doing performance good than earlier employees work their commitment and loyalty and remain satisfied within jobs so employees will be satisfied and they will do their duties perfectly than earlier now also peace prevails in the enterprise because of promotional avenues peace prevails in the enterprise because of the promotional avenues because of the promotional avenues here peace will prevails because if we are working so long in an organization if we are giving our 100 percentage result to the organization effectively and efficiently favor for an organization because of us if our organizational goal is achieved, if our contribution is inevitable, we also will promote in the future, isn't it? 
so whoever is working they will be very happy one day definitely i am going to promote to the higher level because of my performance because raja was working as a supervisor for last 5 5 years but now he promoted to assistant manager like this definitely one day i will be promoted as an assistant manager or manager level like this they will think the remaining people the other employees isn't it second merits of internal recruitment is internal recruitment also simplifies the process of selection and recruitment here we are approaching internal recruitment internal recruitment is simplifying the process of selecting the right candidate for the right job even for placement also but if we are approaching the external recruitment so many process are there so we should know what is the number of vacancies are there then after the recruitment process will be done then after completion of recruitment selection process so many test will be conducted then training will be given then they will check each and every performance of them whether they can promote or not then how much compensation we can give so like this everything is the biggest headache here in external recruitment in external process of selection in external staffing process but if you are taking internal recruitment in internal recruitment they are going to transfer or promote the people already available in an organization they are willing to the organization they are existing employees in an organization and blindly they will not transfer and promote so before going to transfer before going to give promotion for existing employees their all the works will be scrutinized and all the performance will be evaluated by their higher officials that is the very important task the candidates that are already working in the, in the enterprise can be evaluated more accurately and economically definitely they will be watching before going to promote the people from one stage to other stage or transfer from a branch to other branch their performance will be checked so it will be evaluated by an organizational head then only they will give promotion incentives uh, career planning or transfer whatever it is if their performance is well and good isn't it this is a more reliable way of recruitment since the candidates are already known to the organization so if it is new blood we don't know about his attitude how he will behave with the uh, higher officials and how he will accountable how he will perform his duties we don't know anything about the new people but he is already very much familiar to the organization well known person after evaluated his performance we can promote his stage else we can transfer from a place to other place from a branch to other branch third merits of internal recruitment is transfer is a tool of training the employee to prepare them for higher jobs so employee will be prepared for the higher jobs with the help of this transfer at the same time also people recruited from within the organization do not need induction training so already they got the training sufficient training and they are working and they are being as an existing employee in an organization so they no need to get more and more training for the place where they are going to occupy and for the transfer because already they are doing their duties in branch a now they are going to transfer to branch b so same work only they are going to do so no need of induction training fourth merits of internal recruitment is transfer has the benefit of shifting workforce from the surplus department to those where there is shortage of staff for an example manufacturing department how 50 number of workers in an organization but actually needed only 45 in manufacturing department but available employees are 50 employees so five more employees are there in manufacturing department but at the same time if you are taking the sales department already available employees in sales departments are 30 but organizationally expecting 35 people so five more employees are needed in sales department so easily can transfer five people from this department to that department which is manufacturing department to sales department five peoples they can transfer not branch to branch transfer it is internal transfer that to within the organization 
from one department to other department because of shortage shortage of staffs in sales departments the employees going to equalize so here the manufacturing department how more number of employees surplus employees so surplus employees are five employees in manufacturing department so deficit employees are five members in sales department so it is going to be equalized now fifth and last merits of internal source of recruitment is filling of jobs internally is cheaper as compared on getting candidates from the external sources if we are getting candidates from external sources so far that so many process are there we should plan estimating manpower requirements how many people we are going to recruit and we should conduct a uh, recruitment and selection process for that we need more money to issue to publish notifications to advertise then after that we should select with the help of genius we should conduct so many interviews to pick who is the right person for the right job if an organization is conducting the recruitment process that is most expensive one expensive one because they should plan what is the vacancy list for each and every department so establishing manpower requirement how many manpowers what kind of manpowers we are requiring with the planning department only we can get so for that we should spend more amount plus we should conduct recruitment the recruitment process is large that you know so many different kinds of recruitments are available which one we are going to do that so whatever we take in our hand we should spend more money to advertise and to attract the people for apply even though we are having labor market so many vips are available outside we should approach that vips to apply for our job isn't it that is not an easy one we should spend more money for it anyway after receiving application with the help of genius people we should conduct so many test like uh, paper pencil test preliminary exams paper pencil test and intellectual quotient test interest test trade test isn't it after that direct interviews then after direct interviews medical exams medical test so so many tests will be conducted in selection process so expenses are very much high but if the organization prefer internal recruitment it is very very cheaper they no need to do these all the activities instead of that we can promote or transfer if organization feels one existing employee is doing good we can give promotion to him and the organization well known about him isn't it so that is very easy to compare with external limitations of internal recruitment limitations first limitation is when vacancies are filled though internal promotions the scope of induction of fresh talent is reduced so when we are preferring that internal recruitment the organization should not think about the fresh blood for an organization the innovations we cannot expect because hr department is most important department in an organization when we are getting fresh blood for the organization they are coming with new technologies innovative ideas creative ideas they with the help of their ideas our organization will grow in the future but now if we are preparing that promotions called internal source of recruitment it is reducing the scope of fresh talent hence complete reliance on internal recruitment involves danger of inbreeding by stopping influence by stopping infusion of a new blood into the organization it is involves danger of inbreeding which means internally we are going to recruit who ever already available in an organization they only will be promoted and they only going to transfer to other departments or other branches isn't it so it is inbreeding within the organization we are going to do transfer or promotions so this internal source of recruitment method 
is stopping the arrival of new blood for foreign organization isn't it and second limitations of internal recruitment is the employees may become lethargic if they are sure time bound promotions because already they will know about it raja was an employee he was working as a supervisor now he promoted to assistant manager like him if i am working 5 years or 10 years in this organization def positions also my positions also going to promote in the future i am going to promote by an organization in the future so it will create some lethargic moment for existing employees if if organization is not ready to promote me i will raise a question against my superior because say my colleague who was working with me now he became a manager assistant manager why you fails to choose me to this post i am also working favor for an organization for past 10 years why you are not considering me so anyway that existing people will be lethargic definitely one day i am going to become manager or assistant manager in the future so that is creating lethargic moment for existing employees and third limitations of internal source of recruitment is a new enterprise cannot use internal source of recruitment definitely the new new enterprises cannot use internal source of recruitment because no existing employees entirely they should depends upon that external recruitment only isn't it so no organization can fill and all its vacancies from internal sources definitely because there is no existing workers if existing workers are available they may promote or transfer but here new organization entirely depends upon external source of recruitment external source of recruitment only okay i hope now we know very clearly what are the advantages and disadvantages of internal source of recruitment thank you